and welcome to prenatal yoga. Today you will need a scarf, two blocks, a couple of blankets, and a bolster if you have one. If not, a couple of sturdy pillows will do. So if you don't have those things, go ahead and pause the video and follow me and come back to your mat. And it's it might be comfortable to start off on a blanket. So you want to make sure that your hips are supported your knees aren't so high, so for you to have the blanket folded over a couple times, bring the hips up and let the hips just open out. And you start off by just shifting forward and back until you start to feel like you're sitting right over the sits bones. Lengthen your spine tall, draw your shoulder blades back and down away from your ears. And just gently soften your hands to your lap. If it's comfortable for you, close down the eyes. And if it's not, just take a gentle gaze at the ground. And just take a few moments to go through the body. So we're taking this quiet time. And just connect to baby. Starting to feel a deep breath in. And you grow the baby big with your breath. Expansion of the rib cage. And you exhale, just hugging the sides of the body in. And do some deep diaphragmatic breaths here. Visualizing this expansion in your inhale, maybe feeling a little bit more broad through the heart center. And as you exhale, relaxing down the pelvic floor. Few more deep breaths here. Start to notice if you're drawing the shoulders back up to the ears, just draw them back down, relax the jaw, relax the hands. And just start to center your mind on something soothing, whether it's some nice ocean waves going in and out. Maybe you're starting to take a count of your breath. And bring a little bit of constriction to the back of the throat. So on your exhale, imagine that you're fogging a mirror. We'll create this pause sound. As you inhale, you'll draw the breath back in and maybe create that same light whisper at the back of the throat. Comfortable, seal the lips close, bringing this breath gently in and out of your nose. Just finding that natural rhythm of your breath here. And your next breath, just gently take your right ear over to the right shoulder. Good. You can look down towards the top of the right shoulder, maybe even extending the left arm out. But just giving a little bit of space. You might have a little bit of tightness in the neck and shoulders during the day. So just reach and extend. And take another full breath here. Gently place your hands to your lap. Bring your left ear over to your left shoulder. Maybe take a glance down towards the top of the left shoulder. Maybe reaching the right fingertips out to the side of the body. Imagine lengthening the fingertips, the arms, side of the neck. And gently place hands back to the lap, coming back to neutral with the spine. We'll take a few rolls of the torso. Start by going over towards the right thigh, forward, left thigh, and back. So as you're coming back, hug baby in, create a C curve in the spine. So exhale, draw the shoulder blades back towards each other and finding that expansiveness 
in the heart. Continue to breathe here, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Gently come back to stillness, going the opposite direction, left or right. Breathing, exhaling back. We'll come back to sit up nice and tall. Your next inhale, draw the shoulder blades back, exaggerate the heart forward, and maybe the chin lifts slightly. Take a deep breath. in towards the chest and maybe creating this roundness in the spine. So seated cow pose, starting to draw the shoulder blades back, upper body, just starting to feel a nice stretch in the front body. As you exhale, rounding, maybe taking the pressure off of the neck and shoulders. Inhale forward. Exhale, hugging. We'll come to sit back up nice and tall. Reach your arms out and up. And we'll take a little bit of back strengthener here by bending the elbows, drawing the scapula together so you're engaging the upper back muscles. Take an inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, bend the elbows, engage. Once again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend. When you inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Interlace your hands, flip the palms up towards the ceiling and just lengthening through the sides of the body. So really important to lengthen through the back side of the rib cage. But the fronts of the rib cage, just make sure you're drawing them down slightly. So you don't want to open up too much. You want to draw them down, but lengthen through the sides of the body and the back body. And inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale as you release your left arm down, bend the elbow and lengthen through the right side of the body. Keep the sit bones on the mat. And as you exhale, bend your left elbow and sweep your right fingertips over, maybe lifting you down at that left thigh. Inhale, come up. Exhale to bend right elbow and sweep the left arm up and over. Inhaling, lengthening through the left side of the body. Exhale, maybe looking down the right thumb. We'll do that again each side. Coming over to the left, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, bend the left elbow, sweep fingertips over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lateral bend. Inhale, come all the way up, both arms up to the sky. Bend your right elbow and bring your hand right between the shoulder blades. Left hand to the right elbow as you draw those shoulder blades together. So important to have nice upper body strength. After baby, carrying baby around knowing how to take care of yourself before and after your pregnancy. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, bend left elbow, right hand to the left elbow, sitting up nice and tall. Nice back engagement. Good. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, take the arms out to the sides of the body. Take another inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back. If you have your strap, you can place the strap between both hands, keeping the knuckles towards the tailbone. If you don't have the strap, just have a little bend to the elbows. Draw the shoulder blades back. Again, you're just strengthening those upper back muscles here. And getting a nice stretch in the front body. You may not even realize it while we're walking all day that the shoulders tend to round forward, the weight of the body pulling us forward. So this is a nice way to counteract that stretch. So 
and take an inhale, open the arms out. We'll exhale over to spinal twist, bringing the right hand over to the left knee. Take an inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, coming opposite twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, down. More and more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, spinal twist. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Release the hands to the lap. And we'll just take a few shoulder rolls. Gently drawing the shoulders up towards the ears, back and down, forward, up, back and down. Just a couple of times, going with your own pace. And again, anything we can do to relieve our upper body. And we're just going the opposite direction, forward, down. One more time each way. And we'll come back into neutral to make our way into a tabletop position. So we can continue to have the blanket underneath the knees if that helps cushion up the knees. And we'll start to come to bring the shoulders right over the wrists. Tuck your back toes and bring your hips right over your knees. But really important here weight of the baby may pull the low back, so we might find this extra arch in our lumbar spine during the day. But when we're in our tabletop, we're going to just imagine my hand at your low back and you tuck your back into my hand as you draw baby in. So using those transverse abdominal muscles to hug baby closer in. Watching the shoulders right over the wrist, imagine lengthening the crown of the head forward and the tailbone back. Feel a slight separation of the sit bones here. So taking as wide as needed with the knees. We'll take an inhale as we have this really strong, stable back. And exhale as you curl around like a cat. Draw the chin in, and that will feel really, really good in the lumbar. And take an inhale, lengthen the spine again. Imagine tucking your low back in on hand. And exhale, hug baby in. Round the back. One more time. Inhale, really lengthen the spine. Exhale, curling out. Coming back into neutral, we're going to do a little bit of the glute med strengthener here. So we're going to start on our right leg, just taking the right knee off of the mat and lifting the knee slightly, keeping the toe flat. And then exhale as you bring your knee back down to the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, place down. Do these a couple more times. This is a really good exercise. If you find that your pelvis has a little bit of instability due to those lax muscles from the relaxin, this is a great way to strengthen the surrounding muscles around the pelvis. We'll end here, go to the other side and inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Go to the height that feels comfortable for you. Really squeezing the outside of that thigh and hip. Keeping the low back supported so you keep it neutral. One more time on this side. We'll gently place back down. We'll move into a child's pose, so have either your blanket or a bolster nearby. Bring your toes together and walk the knees out really wide, so create a lot of space for baby. You're going to take your glutes onto the heels, just as far down as you can go. And then if you have your blanket, that's really comfortable to have your forearms here. Or maybe even a block for the forehead if the forehead doesn't come all the way down. This is really important not only through your yoga class today, but just remembering this throughout your whole yoga pregnancy. 
that if you have any times that you're feeling really tired, it's important to honor your body. Take those breaths when you need it. You'll also come into play during labor when you need to pause and rest in between those contractions. So just taking a couple more deep breaths here, feeling the belly expand as you breathe. Drawing baby in on your exhale. One more full breath. On your inhale, come back to tabletop position, just placing the blanket and the block off to the side for a moment. I'm going to bring the knees back underneath us for tabletop, and then tuck your toes here. Gently walk your hands to the tops of the thighs, and your feet are going to be, or your knees are going to be, hip width apart, or maybe a little bit wider. And just having a seat on the heels. We're going to take an inhale, open the arms out. Exhale, give yourself a big hug, right arm on top of your left. Rub your chin in towards the chest. So we're getting a really great calf stretch here. You tend to have those cramps in the middle of the night or any time during the day really. And we're also stretching these upper back muscles in the back of the neck. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, gently walk the hands out in front of you, coming back into tabletop position. Extend your right leg back behind you, coming up onto the tip toes. And it's just going to start to guide the right heel down towards the ground, taking that nice calf stretch. As you exhale, bring your foot back to neutral, so it's straight up and down. Take another inhale. Exhale, guide the right heel down. Inhale, foot is back to neutral. And on your exhale, we're just going to pause here for a moment. Another great way if you have those calf cramps in the middle of the night. Really good idea to just stretch it out. And you're ready. Bring it right back underneath your hip and we'll take the other side. Extend your left leg out. Take an inhale. Exhale, guide the left heel down towards the mat. Inhale, bring your foot back to knee. Exhale, guide the left heel down. Inhale, forward. Exhale, stay here for just a breath cycle. Back of the neck is neutral, looking straight down. And then re-bend the knee, tabletop position. If you have your block, bring the knees out wide. Bring your block across. You can have one or two. And we'll gently sit onto the block. Take a deep breath in, open the arms out. Exhale, left arm on top of the right, giving yourself a big hug, chin in towards the chest. Take one more full breath. And gently release. Coming back into our tabletop position. Take the block to the top of the mat. This time we'll do a balancing tabletop position. So extend your right arm out in front of you. Nice and strong upper back. Take your left leg back behind you. Just lift that heel up towards the ceiling for just a moment here. Again, keeping in mind the low backs, hugging baby in, really squeezing that left glute muscle. Take another inhale. Exhale, return to tabletop. Reach your left arm out in front of you, really strengthen the upper back. Take your right foot back, either staying onto the toes, and reaching the heel up squeezing the right glute. One more inhale. Exhale, lower back down. We'll come into that 
that child's pose again. Big toes touch, knees walk out wide. If you had your blanket before and your block, just making yourself into the most comfortable child's pose. Do one more full round of breath. Take the inhale, come all the way back up to tabletop, hands and knees. Then we'll move into a downward facing dog. So if you are later in your pregnancy and baby is already in position in the pelvis, just use your downward facing dog as a transition period here. So don't stay in down dog for too long. And always come back to your knees, child's pose. Tuck your toes, hug baby in, lift your knees off of the mat, and just take a couple of breaths here with the knees bent, taking the weight evenly between the hands and the feet, and then just starting to pedal out the feet nice and gently. That calf stretch once again here. One more full breath. Right, and with the knees bent, start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Bringing the heels down, keep the knees bent. Hands are your hips as you keep that low back really strong. Press into the feet, engage the legs as you come all the way to stand. We'll just take a moment here if you need a water break. And we'll just move our hips side to side. Start to release the hips. Good, we'll come to stand. Feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider if that feels better. And bring your left hand to the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, stretch the fingertips over towards the side of the body. Just feeling that nice length, the right lateral side of the body. See if you can tuck under the tailbone slightly, making sure that you are not sticking that tailbone back too far. And we'll come to the opposite side, so bringing the right hand down, lift up tall through the left arm. Exhale, lateral stretch over towards the right. Making sure that the tailbone slightly tucked. Good. And then bringing the hands all the way back down. We're going to move into modified sun salutes. Come to the top of your mat and have your blocks nearby if you need them. We're going to stand at the top of the mat with the feet a little wider than hip distance apart, making sure that the inner arches of the feet are parallel to each other and the toes are straight ahead. Having a slight bend to the knees, tailbone slightly tucked under. Bring your hands to your heart center and take a full breath here. And as you take an inhale, reach the arms in front of you up to the sky. As you exhale, bend deeply into the knees and bring your hands, if you need your hands to come to your blocks, right here to the blocks. If not, they can come to the mat. Take a step back with your right leg, gently lower your right knee down. So you have that left knee out really wide, making sure that the knee is right over the toes. Take another inhale here. As you exhale, come to tabletop position. And downward facing dog. Wide leg hold down dog here. And take an inhale, gently lower down to your knees. Make sure you have that really long spine. Exhale, cat pose. Hug baby in, round the back. Inhale that long spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Exhale, gently lower down to your knees. Step your left foot out wide. So it goes over at the pinky edge. If you need to come back up onto the blocks, take an inhale. As you exhale, step your right foot out wide. Bend the knees here. Inhale, reach your fingertips in front of you up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms in front of you up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, keep that straight back, and fold forward. Take your left foot to the back of the mat, gently lower the left knee down. Take an inhale. Exhale, you came back to tabletop, downward facing dog, lifting hips up, hugging baby in. Inhale, gently lower to your knees, strong back. Exhale, cat pose, chin in towards the chest. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower down to knees. Step your right leg out wide, right down the pinky of the hand. If you need two hands on the blocks as you exhale, step that left foot up, feet are wide, toes straight ahead. Inhale, reach your arms in front of you, up to the sky. Exhale, hands back to your heart center. We're gonna repeat that on the right and left side. Inhale, reach in front of you, up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Step your right foot back, gently lower to the right knee. Inhale. Exhale, come to the knees, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward, down to the knees. Exhale, hug and round the spine. Inhale, lengthen the spine, heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower down to your knees. Step your left foot out wide. Exhale, maybe hands on blocks. Step forward, fold. Inhale, strong legs, strong back, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Last side, inhale forward and up. Exhale, bend your knees forward, fold. Step your left foot back, gently lower to the left knee, left toes are tucked. Exhale, come back to tabletop, downward facing dog. Inhale, gently lower to knees. Exhale, curling around the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gently to the knees. Step your right leg out wide. Hands to blocks if needed. Exhale, forward fold. Feet wide. Strong legs. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Release your hands to your side, and if you can, bring the feet back together, toes touch, space between the heels. If not, take a little bit wider of a stance with the feet. We'll take a moment in mountain pose, just feeling that earth underneath you. Strongly engage your legs and glutes. Hug your baby in. Engage your back muscles. Reach the fingertips down to the ground. Find a moment here to connect back to baby as you breathe deeply, giving your baby a lot of oxygen. Take one more deep breath here. And as you exhale, open the eyes, bring your hands to your hips. And step into a warrior two pose. So keeping the right toes straight ahead, Find the left foot back, toes straight across the mat, and find a nice bend into the right knee. Right knee right over the ankle, 
And if you need to move the knee over towards the pinky edge of the foot, just lift the heel off of the ground, strongly engage those glute muscles we worked on at the beginning of class, and then press the heel back down. Good, hands to the hips for a moment here as we level the pelvis. So if you are having any kind of pelvic pain, maybe any of that SIJ um, pain, just take a little bit shorter stance with that left foot. Bring that left foot in a little bit closer. Extend your arms out to the sides of the body. So we talked about having really strong arms, really strong upper back muscles when we're carrying baby around. So engage strongly in the arms, shoulder blades towards each other. Find the gaze over the right fingertips. So it's helpful when we're in these positions where we're challenging our body to find that visual focal point and to remind ourselves to come back to a good, deep breath. We'll take one more deep breath here. And on your exhale, hands to your hips, straighten your right leg. We're gonna bring the toes out on an angle and the heels will walk in. Having a little bit wider stance, but if again, you have that pelvic pain, you walk the heels in closer, just take a shorter squat pose. And make sure that the knees track over the ankles every time you come into your squat. So tucking under the tailbone slightly, sweep the arms out and up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, coming into a squat, hands at your heart. Inhale, reach your arms out and up, straighten the legs. Exhale, squat, really strong legs, knees stay behind the toes. Inhale, reach out and up. And exhale, just one moment here in our squat. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, sweep out and up. Exhale, hands back to your hips, moving into warrior two on the left. Left toes stay straight, right foot across, hands on your hips, and then bend that left knee. Watching the knee right over the ankle again. If the knee starts to go towards the big toe, lift the heel off the mat, strongly engage the gluteus medius, guide the heel back down, and find the arms out to the sides of the body. Imaginary pencil right between the shoulder blades, really strong upper back. Find that focal point visually with the eyes. Tune back into your breath. We'll take one more deep breath in. Exhale, hands to hips, coming into that squat pose again. So toes out, heels in, shorten the stance if needed. Take a moment here to gauge where you're going with your knees. Take an inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, coming into your squat, strong back. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, low squat. One more inhale, out and up. Exhale, coming into a squat. We'll hold this a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms overhead. Exhale, hands back to your hips. We're going to come into our warrior once again. Left foot spins across the mat, right toes straight ahead. Find the structure this time. We're gonna take our right forearm to the right thigh. So you can place hand on baby, just giving a baby a hug. And then with the left hand on the hip, start to draw that left shoulder blade in towards the spine. So you're gonna feel this rotation of the torso. Feel a lot of length in the left side of the body. You can choose to stay right here, left hand on the hip. Or if that feels good, you can take the left arm up and over the ear. Good, make sure that that right elbow is strong. If you prefer to just have the form across the thigh, otherwise, again, we'll come back to baby. Take one more deep breath here. And 
Inhale, come all the way up, hands to the hips. This time, feet are going to parallel each other, so the inside arches of the feet are going to face each other. Have your blocks handy, and if you have any blood pressure issues, you want to make sure that the blocks are high and that you're keeping the heart above, or the head above the heart. So gauge where you are here. Imagine that you're on a piece of paper, and you're going to rip that paper apart. But we're going to do that by engaging strongly in these outer gluteus, medius, and thigh muscles, not moving the heels. So imagine that you're pulling the heels away from each other, ripping that paper, but you're just using those muscles to engage. Lengthen through the sides of the body, hug baby in. Exhale, folding forward, and you have your blocks here. If you don't have any blood pressure issues, no dizziness, and you feel good, you can go a little wider into the forward fold. And again, just listening into your body. How do you feel today? Any heartburn, any dizziness? You want to just stay upright, keep breathing. Lengthening the crown of the head forward. Take another inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your hands to your hips, and inhale, slowly we come up. Pivot your left toes to the back of the mat, taking that warrior stance once again, making any adjustments needed with the right foot. Take a glance at your left knee, and bringing the left forearm to the left thigh, hand to baby. Take your right hand to the hip, and just start to spin that right shoulder blade back towards the midline of the spine. Stay here if you like, or reach that right arm up and over. Just feel this nice length in the right side of the body. Gaze where it's most comfortable. Any tension in the neck, just look forward or down. We'll take one more breath. And inhale, come all the way up. Bring your hands to your hips, wide leg forward fold once again. Inner feet, take the hands to the blocks. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale as you fold. And you can take your hands to the blocks. You can come in as far as that feels good to your fold. One more full round of breath. Bend your knees, hands to your hips, and inhale, come all the way up. Heel toe your feet in together to touch. And we'll just take a moment here, hip circles, so just releasing the hips. Forward and back. And we'll go the opposite direction, nice big circle. slowly come back to stillness we're going to take a chair pose coming into a chair pose so bring the feet hip width apart maybe just a little bit wider hands can stay at your hips heart and reach them up overhead we're going to take an inhale lift and exhale coming into the chair pose again your hands can come to your heart at any time Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Keep the weight in the heels. Seat back. One more. Inhale, reach forward and up. This time we're going to just hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale, just shake everything off. We're going to come into a pyramid pose to stretch that calf a little bit more. So if you have a blanket, we're just going to roll up the blanket. And you're going to have your blocks to the inside of where your foot will go. So just gauging where your blanket feels good to have your right ball of the foot onto that blanket, so you're getting a little bit of calf stretch here. 
And just walking the left foot back. Need a little bit of space. Maybe the feet are hip distance, maybe a little bit wider. Taking a deep breath in, hug baby in. And exhale, folding over that right leg. And we are blocked right here to the inside of the right foot, stretching that right calf. Keep the back strong. So you're drawing those shoulder blades back towards one another. Gaze is straight down, crown of the head forward. You can go a little bit further into your forward fold if that feels good. But again, if you're having any dizziness or high blood pressure, just keep the heart lifted. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. Hands to your hips and inhale, come all the way back up. And then just switch out the legs. So bringing the right foot back, left foot forward. Ball of the foot onto the blanket. Taking maybe just a little bit wider stance here with the right foot. Hands to the hips, take a deep breath in. Exhale, folding forward. Bringing the hands onto the blocks here. Keeping the back strong, that low back really engaged here. Taking a few deep breaths, feeling that calf stretch in the left calf. And take one more deep breath here. Again, maybe shaking out the feet. We're going to come into a squat pose all the way down to the ground this time. So have your blocks needed if you need that for the sacrum. And then have your blanket if your heels don't come all the way off of the ground. So again, just gauging how thick you would like the roll in your blanket. And definitely, if you're past 34 weeks, you want to have these blocks here so that you don't have so much downward flow in the, in the energy. So having the heels on the blanket, you don't have to have them on the blanket, but if your heels don't normally come down in a squat, this is a great support. You're going to take your squat out wide. So the knees can go past the toes in this squat. Having a seat onto your blocks. Elbows to the insides of the thighs, hands at your heart as you lift up nice and tall. We'll just take a few deep breaths here. So inhaling, imagine softening down. Exhaling, hugging in the baby. Inhale, relaxing. Exhale, contracting the belly in. And this is really good preparation. Letting the hips widen, starting to come back to that breath, that capable way of calming your nervous system with this breath. So take one more full breath here. Gently bring the hands down. If it's okay to come into your tabletop from here, start to walk the hands out in front of you, come down to the knees. If you need to come out by shifting over to one side of the hip and then coming back to the knees, then we're going to come into a bound angle pose. So bringing that blanket down, bringing the hips onto the blanket, soles of the feet together to touch. And if need those blocks underneath the knees here. We're going to take an inhale, lifting up nice and tall. Exhale, we're just going to lean forward slightly. So again, making sure you have lots of space here. Keeping the upper back engaged, shoulders away from the ears, just relaxing down the jaw. Tucking the chin in slightly. Extend the left 
taking the left hand to the left thigh, reach up tall with the right arm, and exhale, sweeping your right arm up and over. And just like we did in our side angle pose, if you're comfortable to bring the forearm to the thigh, and then again, just making connection to the baby, drawing your hand to your belly, finding the gaze that's most comfortable. All the way up, we'll come to the other side. So bending in that left knee, straightening out the right leg, bring the left heel in as close as you can towards that right thigh. Right hand to the thigh, either pressing the palm down or bringing the forearm onto the thigh. Reaching the left arm overhead, maybe right hand to your baby. Finding the gaze that's okay on the neck. Inhale, come all the way up. Extend your left leg out. And have your blocks here if needed. Facing the hands to either the ground or the blocks. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine, shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, just hinging forward as far as is comfortable. Tops of the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen the back of the neck. Arm of the head forward. Really strong engagement of the back muscles as you inhale, come all the way back up. Just bring the blocks off to the side, bend the knees, and bring the knees in a little bit closer together. And then just windshield wiper the knees side to side. So bring your hands back behind you, fingertips in close, and then just going from side to side. neutral, we'll take a seated pigeon pose. So bringing the right knee in and then bringing the heel towards the top of the left thigh here. So just above the kneecap. And you can keep the hands back behind you, drawing the shoulder blades in towards one another. So you're feeling that expansion through the heart center. And you're getting a nice stretch here. If you have any sciatic issue, that, that nerve bundle that runs down the leg into the calf. This is a really good stretch to help stretch the piriformis muscles. We'll take another full breath here. And drawing the right knee down. Maybe we'll sit up for a moment and just take the hands out in front, release the wrists, so just create really big circles with the wrists. And go the opposite direction, so bringing the hands back behind you, fingertips towards the tailbone, bringing the left knee in, rotating from the hip and placing the foot to the top of the right thigh, flexing the foot in. Draw the shoulder blades together, feeling that open system. The sternum is just lifting up towards the ceiling. One more full breath here. 
gently hug the knee in and back down. We're going to do that windshield wiper once again. Just release the hips to side to side gently. And come all the way back to stillness, coming back to your seat. We'll set up for our Shavasana, our resting pose. So if you have your blocks, just bring that to the top of the mat. Have a blanket for your head. And then you may want to stay on to the blanket for your hips, making sure that the hips are cushioned. Having a bolster so that while you're lying down on the left side of the body, that you have the bolster in between the knees. We're going to just take one more moment to reconnect with that breath. Sitting up tall, the shoulders back and down away from the ears, relaxing the face, taking in a deep breath, expanding the belly, exhaling, hugging baby. Recreating that controlled breath, exhaling as though you're fogging your mirror, Inhale, draw that breath back in, recreating that same lightlessness. And just taking this moment to tune back in. How do we feel now versus in the past? Take a moment to give yourself gratitude for coming to your mat today. And gently open the eyes, coming into a resting pose. Blanket on the hip. Draw the knees off to the left side. Coming all the way down to the left shoulder, just sweeping that left arm forward. Bringing the bolster right between the knees so that you have your hips stacked right on top of the other. And it might be more comfortable to have your hand on the block here. If it's not comfortable to have the right hand on top of the left. And just take a few moments here in our resting posture just to start settling down the space between the eyebrows. Relaxing down the jaw. Relax your shoulders, arms. Relaxing your belly. Softening the hips. Relax your legs. Beginning to relax your whole body.
permission to stretch through the neck as soon as 